This now has not only got bonding on for the strength, but it's also reinforced with the mesh. plastering for beginners and today I'm going to show you how to prepare any old wall ready for plastering. I'm going to talk about blown plaster but especially cracked areas so we've got walls that have been chased in by sockets and basically we've just got an old battered wall. I'm going to show you the full process on how to make it right. In the clip I've mixed up some British chips and bonding which is an undercoat plaster designed to be used for any areas that aren't basically back to brick so it's perfect for blown areas but I also like to use it for chasing sections but in this video I'm going to show you how to make that bonding really strong and stop any cracks from reappearing which is a problem if you do plaster over cracks they might just keep coming back if it's deep enough so I'm going to show you a sure fix way on how to make sure that stops so let's go straight into the video like I said I've mixed up some bonding and we're using that straight away I'm going to show you how to get your walls right and ready for plastering. So let's do it. Got the bonding mixed, good to go, usual. Put a bit on your hog, take it about, give your trowel a bit of a covering. Now if you've just got blown plaster, nothing else, I'm going to show you exactly what to do. It's fairly simple. Grab the bonding, Throw it in. And really push the bonding into the plaster. Really want to push it in hard so it sticks to every surface. Now, back to you, put it on. Grab your rule. Preferably a uh, feather edge, they do come in handy, they are brilliant. Wall to wall, Let's take off the excess. So that looks flat, clearly wasn't. And then you rule it flat. Always keep your walls and areas flat because it just makes for a better job. This changes everything, it makes sure your walls completely flat and square and plumb if it is so. So if you've just got blown areas like that, that's one step. Now I'm going to take it a bit further. I've obviously got chasing in, I've got cracks in the corner. And the problem is, what a lot of people do is they just fill in the chase marks and um, plaster over it. It won't work, they'll crack. What you need to do is either put screen tape either side, and then put the bond in, or bond it, and then put screen tape between the joins before you start plastering. The only issue with that is Grim hates sticking to bonding, it just doesn't like doing it. When you put your scrim tape on, it just doesn't hold. So, I've got a different answer. I'm gonna fill it up. Just throw it in, again, push tight. What I'm going to do is put a little bit of bonding everywhere. And I'm going to show you something. This is render mesh. This is basically a big roll of scrim tape. And I've been using this a lot in my rendering videos. It's great for just putting in your backing go when you're rendering. What I'm going to do is actually put it into the bonding. This makes the bonding really hard. It sets tough and it just really binds the whole wall together. So like screen tape does, it's, if there's any movement, it'll, the mesh will move with the joint. Imagine this on your whole area of the wall. So I'm just going to show you a little patch and show you how easy it is to apply. I'm going to roughly cut it. Just do it about that size. Like I said, you can do it over the whole area if you want. I know my wall is completely stable. I'm just going to cover the cracked areas where the chasing is. And I've got a bit of, uh, this whole area is slightly damaged, so I'm just going to strengthen it up. Take that. Cut a piece. 
What you do is wear the bong mins on, place it on top, grab your travel, pull it up to where the chase marks are, and just gently bed it in. And then squeeze it, really push it in. Grab some bonding. So if you've got a wall that's solid but it's got lots of cracks or a lot of cutting, a lot of chasing in, this is great. And it's really easy. You just push it in. Really focusing that chasing, push it in there, scrape it back. Now you don't want it to be proud, so when you are put it in, just scrape the bond in the excess back, really push it in. all your damaged areas. Work around the plus sockets. And now the good bit. Be straight edge. There you go. All there is covered. It's just take any excess back, fill in any spots that are too low. And this now, it's not only got bonding on for the strength, but it's also reinforced with the mesh, which when it's set, trust me, it goes solid. It almost acts, binds together. And in my opinion, it's probably stronger than British Chips in Hardwall. It's really good. So just smooth off the areas that are a bit abrasive. Now trust me, that will set solid. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. I'd really appreciate it if you did. And if you want to learn more about plastering and how to actually plaster a wall after this process and learn the full process behind plastering, like how to mix it, how to get it on the walls, and feel free to sign up to our free plastering course from the link below or something should hover around here. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching. And like I said, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.